What are some of the best free Mac OS apps you can get right now? Stay tuned. Hey, what's up? So I hope everyone's staying safe. I'm actually still quarantined, as you can see, so um, not just in this room, but I'm actually staying. We're moving into a new house, which I'll show you guys soon. Um, but right now I'm actually stuck, you know, in a smaller bedroom filming, so I apologize about the quality of the filming. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and just try to concentrate on some good content. What I want to go over today is just let's go ahead and show you guys some 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 of the best Mac OS apps right now. So what can you get? And these are going to be free Mac OS apps. I mean, some people may have know about these. Some people may not. Just want to show you maybe this is going to be kind of a series I do. I'm going to go through just three different apps right now, and they're going to be free. Number one for Mac OS. Number two. And uh, let me know what you think and obviously post some in the comments as well. I'll go through three of them and then we'll talk a little bit about them at the end. That's really all this video is about and I'll kind of make some of these progressing throughout the year maybe to show you different apps and stuff that I like and that I use. Um, anyways, let's get into it. Let's go. All right, so the very first one I want to show you, the first program is called Spectacle, just like the glasses, Spectacle. And you can download it um, just off the internet. It's a free program. What you want to do is once you actually get it installed, let me go ahead and show you. Um, it's going to have a little icon like this, which is going to show Spectacle, and it's going to have these little glasses. And you can open that up. I already have it open. So what it basically does is it's very simple. Let's just assume you have a browser, let's say, open or a window open of some sort. So I'm just going to use this browser here. Obviously with uh, Windows management, you can kind of split this, you know, if, there's a couple easy ways in the Mac to like have this left aligned or right aligned, but then you need to put another, you know, left aligned program on the other side. So you can kind of rearrange these with some kind of shortcuts, but this lets you actually arrange them with a lot of different shortcuts in a lot of different areas you can rearrange your windows. Let me get, kind of show you up here. So up here you're going to have, see, I don't know if you can see my icon up here. There's a little spectacle or two little glasses up here that you can actually see. And that's the icon for it. So when you click on this, you can see all these different things here that come up. And what it allows you to do, it's really kind of straight and simple. But you can actually click on center, for example, which this is actually centered. Um, let's go ahead and do like left half. Look at that. So it puts the pro it puts your window on the left half. You can do top half, which will put the window on the top half. You can go ahead and do bottom half, um, upper left. So you can do four different windows in here. So if you do open up another window, let's go ahead and open up another window here. New window. For this one, let's go ahead and go upper right. So you can see what I'm saying. So you can kind of, you know, and, and the reason for this is obviously pulling this down might take a little bit longer. Um, you know, you can make larger, like make smaller, next third, you know, previous third. You can do a whole bunch of different things. You can put them in thirds like that. Um, all different areas, but the reason you would, you, you know, it almost takes longer to go up here and actually choose this. But realistically, what you want to do, use this for, is you want to create shortcuts. So go ahead and shut this. So if you go back up these little glasses, click on it, and you can click on preferences here. You're going to see that it creates this list here, and it basically allows you to create a whole bunch of shortcuts for those commands. So you don't have to actually click up here. You can just, you know, memorize the shortcut and move the windows around really quickly. So that's really all this does. It's called Spectacle. It's free, and uh, check it out. All right, so the next program that I want to show everyone is called Helium, and it does something very similar to what you can do in Safari, which in YouTube, which I'm going to show you here. So Helium. So let's say you go into Safari here, and a lot of people don't even know about this, but let's say here's one of my old videos. Um, you can actually uh, do a picture in picture that floats over all your other programs pretty easily in YouTube, in Safari. You basically right click with the right mouse button, um, so the right mouse button, not the left. You double click. It brings up, see that? So if I click it once, it brings this up. If I click it twice, it brings up this menu, which is different. And you want to go enter picture in picture mode. So click that. And look at that. So it puts it up here. You can resize this little window. So whatever you're working over here, you can actually go ahead and play this. Let's find out. And as you can see, if you can hear me over the music, is it floats. And it'll float basically over all your different work. So anything you bring up, this little window will float and it'll play that YouTube video. Now that's not actually Helium. So Helium, let's go ahead and shut that down. All right, so you see how that works? That works pretty good for just using Safari and basically Mac OS and looking at YouTube videos. But if you want to use something like Hulu or if you want to use Netflix, 
it's actually not going to work for you that way. There's no really good way to do that. So Helium, so you want to download Helium and I'll show you here. Go ahead and launch it. Once you download it, it's actually in the App Store, but it's right here. It looks like a Helium balloon. You click that and here's the screen right here. You can see it, a little screen. So what this does, and I'm going to actually show this to you in YouTube because there's a couple of reasons why. Because if I try to show you this in Hulu and Netflix, take my word for it, it works in there. It will end up um, not showing the video because I'm recording right now and it knows that I'm recording. So for copyright it's not going to show the video working but just take my word that it does work anyways so I'll try it in YouTube so here's the video here so let's just say I go here back to my video um, actually let's well let's even use a different video to tell you the truth so I opened up this video so let's go ahead and just take this so I, I, I can go command C I'm going to copy this the location of this and then I'm going to go back to helium you have to go back down here and click on it um, helium's up here so then what you want to do is you want to go to location and it's not the best because you still have to, you have to click open web URL you're going to see this little bar here and then you want to go control V you want to um, command V I'm sorry and you want to copy that link into here and click load what it's going to do is it's, it's going to load this video which I'm looking at down here New York City $3,900 rent I'm going to click it and it may show an ad no it's not so As you can see, it's playing the video just like it was before, if you can hear me. Anyways, I pause that so I can talk. But basically, it's going to float this over it. And again, you can do a lot of things up here with it. Um, let's go ahead and take, let's go ahead and click on this again. We'll shut that down. But if you click down here on Helium, just so you can open this up, you can do like translucent, um, you know, always, you know, have it be, let me just see here. 30%. You can basically change so that you can see things underneath it and, and over it if you wanted to. That's one thing you can do, but you can also resize it, some other little features. Long story short, this is all really it does. Now, the reason you would use this again is for Netflix, Hulu, programs like that, that the other features don't work where you double right click. So Helium works in, in those type of programs. The reason I'm not showing those again is because of the copyright. Anyways, check it out. See if you like it. It's called Helium. If you like to watch like little teeny videos that you can actually watch in the corner that float over everything, it's a great tool. All right, so the actual third program is called Encrypto, and I like this because of its simplicity. If you like to encrypt files, this is one of the easiest things you can use. Let me go ahead and show you. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and go down here. This is actually going to be in, um, here it is right here. Here's, here's like the little icon for it, but it is actually in the App Store. So if you, know, if you click here, it's going to bring you to the App Store. So you download it from the App Store. It goes directly as an app on your Mac, so that's pretty easy. You don't have to install it from like a third party or anything like that. Um, anyway, so what you want to do with this is really straightforward, but it's something that I like to use. Um, once it's in there, let's go ahead into Launchpad. Here's Encrypto right here, so let's go ahead and click on it, and it's going to open up this little window. I want to say no thanks. I don't want to rate it right now. Anyways, so this one's really easy. So all you have to do with this is you, know, you basically drag a file on here. Let me explain a couple things. Now this works both with Windows and Mac, so it's cross-platform, and I believe you can encrypt and decrypt it that way, so that's great, number one. It's free, number two. But let's go ahead and go to, to actually Finder. Let's go ahead and uh, pick a file here. So if I go to this, this is just kind of a car I have, a picture, a JPEG or something to that effect. So let's go ahead and uh, take that, and we're going to drag that right in here. As you can see, let me go ahead and lower that. So it's, now it's going to ask me for a password, and I'm going to do the famous password, and I'm going to show it. <laughs> so, and then you can put hint, which is terrible password. So you can do a hint in there, um, and then you can encrypt it. So what it basically does, let's go ahead and encrypt this, and it's going to go ahead and encrypt it. Now this is AE. AES-256 encryption, so it's very strong encryption. Now I want to caution everyone, um, once you encrypt this file, now it does save a copy, um, and you know, let's go ahead and save as first of all. So let's go ahead and save as, we're going to do under documents, and we're going to say encrypt, and we're going to save that. So now let's save that encrypted file. Let's go back into here, let's go into finder, let's go into documents. There it is up here. So it's gonna, it's got a basically a .crypto file you can see up here. Now the only thing that can decrypt this is gonna be in crypto. So if you lose this, this is the big problem. Um, or if this program goes away later, you may not be able to get these back. What this is good for is sending things via email. Let's say you want to email something to somebody, and they have it, the actual program on the other end. They can go ahead and decrypt that with the password. So they need the password obviously, and you can get that to them a different way. Um, but that's what it's good for. Or if you want to encrypt some files and then move some of your originals off to another, uh, maybe. A 
like a, a drive that's not connected to your computer so you don't have to worry about people connecting and grabbing them. The one good thing about this too is if you look in here, I don't know where it is, but basically it did save a copy of that on here. Um, it doesn't actually remove the actual copy. Um, let me go, I think it's under download. So um, basically here it is. So here's the original. So it doesn't remove that when you encrypt it. So it doesn't just encrypt the file. It saves a copy of the original. That's good and bad because if, you know, obviously it's, <laughs> they can grab this one now. So you want to go ahead and drag this or put this somewhere else, maybe offline, or you can delete it. Once you delete it though, keep in mind that this file basically will be encrypted and, uh, and, and you can't get it back. So like I said, be careful with it. Um, you can go in and again, save as like we did, or you can share, you can go ahead and share the file easily. You can mail it, message, airdrop, notes, and then there's a couple more things you can do with it as well. Um, you know, you can go in here and take a look at what you want to do with it. Long story short, though, is that's what it's good for. Um, again, Mac and Windows free, and then just be careful with it. Um, you have to have this program to open it back up. So I would, you know, things that I do is if I want to email something, I take and I save this on a drive that's not actually connected to my network or my drive right now, and then I encrypt it, I can send it, and then they can decrypt it on the other end if they have this, and that's all that it really does really well. So anyways, check it out free and uh, get it from the App Store. Alrighty, so I hope you guys like those, and again, those are three that I like using. Number one, you know, the Windows on Macs are usually a lot worse than Windows, you know, PCs, so that's one of the reasons I, I kind of sought out that app. It does a pretty good job, it's still not as good, but it, it does makes it more, I guess, favorable if you want to use, you know, windowing and stuff on the, on the Mac with macOS. The other one is going to obviously be Helium, which is going to be, you know, that's built into, if you use uh, Safari and you use YouTube, you can go ahead and float some windows, but if you want another way of doing that with like Netflix or Hulu or some of those other ones that, you know, you can't do that with usually, go ahead and check, check out Helium. It's another free one. And then finally, you can go ahead and uh, the third one is going to be basically the encrypt encryption one. And uh, again, you got to be careful with that one because you can only decrypt it with the actual program itself. So you have to be a little bit careful in case that goes away. So it's one of those things where if you're sending files maybe, or if you're, you know, if you have a backup somewhere else, maybe on a, on a drive that you actually have just sitting, not attached to the computer, that might be a good way to use this. Just think about how to use it creatively and the best way to use it, but be careful. Um, you know, obviously you don't want to be able to be locked out of your own apps and things. Um, anyways, I hope everyone's staying safe. It's, it's crazy times out here. I'm in, you know, the USA in the Chicago area doing okay, but, uh, hopefully in about a month things will be lifted. We'll get to our new place. I'll show everyone kind of the new studio that I'm going to be having. Beyond that, uh, you know, my videos, I do Mac stuff, PC stuff, travel and, and finance, but those are kind of, uh, you know, taking a little step back right now. So we're going to do those a little bit later. Anyway, subscribe to my channel if you can, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.